It feels like somebody is actually um, wrapping my arm against a cement wall about quite a number of times and then running over with a truck a few times. Michael Toscano's pain is with him every moment of every day. The only time I'm ever comfortable is when I'm in bed laying down. Michael is not alone in his pain. By one estimate, one person in half of America's homes suffers daily. And while health officials continue to raise questions about the safety of long-term prescription and over-the-counter painkiller use, many are already exploring other treatments. 430 milligrams of uh, Emiscont in a day and 3,600 milligrams of Neurant in a day and uh, Actic morphine lollipops, two, two or three of them a day. Frustrated over drugs that are really not helping him and sidelined from work and a life with his family, Michael is opting for a spinal stimulator. This goes to the epidural space. It blocks the pain pathways, so it blocks the pain signals. So the patient just feels a tingling sensation and that it takes away the actual pain sensation. In an outpatient surgery, the small stimulator is placed completely inside the body, usually in the buttocks. We put a little electrode in the neck itself, and then it's connected to a battery. And a lead is threaded into the epidural space, where it can stimulate the spinal cord. It's controlled, turned on and off, with a small remote. Some patients leave the device on all the time, others for just a few hours a day. Dr. Sanjay Bakshi, an interventional pain management specialist from Lenox Hill Hospital in New York, cautions this treatment is not for everyone. This is not a first-line therapy. It's not a replacement for surgery, but it's for people who fail surgery and who continue to be in pain. Yet the prospect of immediate pain relief makes the device attractive to patients who literally suffer through each day. It is, though, by no means a perfect prescription. If they get over 50% pain relief, then we consider that good. Dr. Bakshi says he's had patients with 75% relief, but no one that's ever described themselves as pain-free. Quality of life is what he says he's striving for. And that's what Michael is looking forward to, time spent focusing on his family instead of his pain. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen.